Hey Youtubers and Gibcrafters, Writerbrin here, and this is for people on the Gibcraft server, and if you're not already on the Gibcraft server, come on and join us. It's a great place to play Minecraft. It's for 18 and older, which means you're not going to have any little kids um, in there playing around, which is great. Kids are great. Great, but sometimes adults just want to get away, have a place where we can play, and, and that's what this is about. It's not adult for any other reason, except that it's for... Um, adults to play on the server. And what I'm going to talk about today are signs on Gibcraft. And let me show you an example. Let's get back up our things here. This is my store. And in my store I sell. Now this can be confusing because B you think would mean buy. And it means you can buy uh, a slime ball for ten dollars from me. So I have my slime balls. Let me get something out of my hand here. There we go. I have slime balls in here. And so if somebody right clicks. Now I want you to remember that buy is right, buy right, sell is left. So buy and right rhyme. Can't tell you how many times I went to buy some, sell something and accidentally bought it. So anyway, I can't do it on my own sign, but uh, let's go find somebody's sign who I can do it on. All right, we're here at Greg's store, and uh, she has some interesting signs in here anyway that we'll talk about later too. She has trade signs where you can trade hay bales for shovels. So, but she also sells them for money. So let's take a look at these. Um, what do I want to buy here? I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy a spade. You could always use a spade. Now I'm gonna buy a sword. So, B means buy. You're gonna. What are you gonna do? Buy right. You're gonna right click. So I'm gonna right click on that sign, and you can see now, I have a handy dandy sword. And if I had chat on, it would show. Well, let me just show it real quick. Alright, let's do that again. If I had chat on there, you'll see that when I right click on it, I get the item and it says that you bought one diamond sword from Greatest Amami for $70. So I'm going to turn chat back off just to give people their privacy. Alright, so I'm going to tell you now I have two diamond swords, which that's not a bad price for diamond swords. So we're going to go back to my shop and I'm going to tell you how to make these signs. Alright, so I'm going to show you, this is my store. The store is called Duh, Res TP Duh, because I am Bryn Duh. And uh, you can see the items here I'm selling. I sell stuff pretty cheap. I'm selling some fire resistance here. Eight minutes for one dollar. And those get a little bit more tricky when you're selling the different kinds of potions. And I'll try to get in that on the video here too. But first we're going to start with the simple stuff. The first thing you have to do is you have to have a chest placed down. There doesn't have to be anything in it, but there has to be a chest under the sign you make. The second thing you want to do is you want to press... If you don't already have it here where you hover over an item and it gives you that number, you see that number? You're going to need that number. Um, also, it tells you how much power you have left in your uh, tools and things. If you don't have that number, then you need to press escape, go to this screen, um, and hold down F3, and then press H while you're holding down F3 and let go. Um, if you don't, let me close it. You will have it like this. You won't have those numbers, and you need those numbers. So you're going to press F3H, and it comes back. You see here that ice is number 79. I'm going to remember that, and I'm going to make my sign here. And this sign is a simple, um, I'm going to buy it, buy, uh, I'm going to sell you ice so people can buy it from me. The first line is blank. You press enter. The second line is how many ice do I want to sell? Well, I'll sell 32. So when you right click on this sign, you will get 32 ice. And how much do I want to sell it for? Well, I'm going to sell it for $10. $10 for 32 ice. So I'm going to press 10. Now, on this line goes that number that you saw next to ice. Ice was number 79. So I'm going to press 79. Okay, so I'm selling 32 ice. Let's go back up there. First line's blank. 32 ice. $10. And you get 32 of them. And ice is number 79. I press done, and there is my sign. It tells them that Brenda Geek is selling 32 uh, ice, and they can buy it for $10. And then I'll usually put a piece of ice up there so people can just at a glance see what I'm selling, open up the box, and throw the ice in there. All right, now, let's say I wanted to buy uh, ice from people. I wanted them to sell it to me. So I'm going to make this sign again, and first line's blank. The second line is uh, 
how many I want to I want them to sell me and I want them to sell me 32 again or I can make it 10 or 7 or whatever but I want them to sell me 32 so they have to have 32 in their inventory actually if they don't have 32 then it will give them however much it's worth if I say I will buy 32 for 32 dollars and they only have 12 well 32 for 32 dollars is a dollar each they only have 12 then I'll buy it for 12 dollars so anyway I say I want 32 and I want them to sell it to me so I need the S S for sell, and how much do I want them to sell it to me for? Well, I, I want them to sell it to me for five dollars. So I have S5. They will sell it to me for five dollars, and what do I want them to sell to me? Number 79, which is ice. You can also look these info numbers up online. Look up Minecraft ID numbers. Done. So now this S, people know this S, means for sell. So it means that they can come up here and they can left click on this sign and sell me ice for five dollars. Now, what if I want both? What if I want to buy and sell ice? Well, then we have another thing to do here. Again, first line's blank. The second line is how many? So, uh, we'll go 10. 10 ice. So, 10 ice, if I want them to buy it from me, then they can buy it from me for $10. Colon, that is the shift key, and the key next to the L on most computers colon no spaces and then you're gonna press S and a space okay I want them to buy it from me for ten dollars or they can sell it to me for five of course I'm not gonna give them more money or they could just keep buying and selling so they sell it to me for five or they buy it from me for ten and what item 79 so on this sign ten items they can either buy them from me for ten dollars or sell them to me for five and it's number 79 which is ice so you can see here if people right click on this sign they will buy ice from me they will buy 10 ice from me for ten dollars or they will buy or they will sell 10 ice to me for five dollars that's pretty straightforward right so if you have any questions here you're gonna wanna pause it go back um, it's always a good idea to put just a picture up there so people know what they're getting and next we're gonna do those trade signs Okay, so now we are going to make trade signs. Make a trade sign like this one that says, Give 20 redstone, get 10 obsidian. So when people right click on this sign with uh, 20 redstone in their inventory, it will take it out of their inventory, put it in this sign, and this number here will change to however many redstone is in your sign, and they will get 10 obsidian. Now right now I have 40 obsidian in this sign, so if somebody came up to buy some, that 0 would change to a 20, and that 40 would change to a 20, because I would now have 20 redstone in there and they would have taken 20 of my obsidian so let's go ahead and make a sign like this we're going to be trading uh, they give us sand which is number 12 and they get ice which is number 79 this one does not use a chest this one the items are actually in the sign so you're going to uh, place a sign on the wall and the first line you're going to type left bracket trade right bracket press enter the next line is they are going to give me 20 uh, sand. So we're going to press type 20 space 12. They'll give me 20 sand. So they'll give me 20 of number 12. 12 is sand. New line. They will get 10 space 79. So they will get 10 ice. Ice is number 79. And I have uh, 55 ice in my inventory. I'm going to type colon and I'm going to go ahead and put 50 of those ice in this sign to be traded. And I'm going to press done. So now you can see in my inventory I now have 5 ice. In this sign it says it has 50. So people can come up to this sign, right click on it, give me 20 sand, and get 10 ice. You don't want people to have to look up what all those numbers mean. So you're going to put another sign above it. You'll type something like trade give 20 sand get 10 ice and done I don't know why you would trade sand for ice but that's what I had in my inventory and when you want to take out whatever is in the sign let's say they've given you the sand and you want it back you're gonna right click on the sign and you will get that sand in your inventory you can left click on the sign with the uh, ice in your hand and add more when it is out alright that covers trading, buying, and selling. 
if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section. Please rate and subscribe and try out gibcraft.com. G-I-B-C-R-A-F-T dot com. Bye-bye.